Hi guys! Welcome back to another SCP Reacts video. I just got in from work, so if I look and sound like the entirety of my soul has left my being, that's because it has. <laughs> so we're gonna do what we do best to recover. Binge watch YouTube. Yay! It is actually very cold outside, that's why I'm wearing my little fluffy jumper. And we're gonna be watching SCP-073 and 076 today, Kane and Abel. Now this one looks pretty interesting to me because I know of these guys, you know, the original, the OG bros. One murdered the other, that's pretty much as far as I know. I'm pretty sure Kane murdered Abel, right, to prove his love to God, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. Feel free to correct me, I don't know much about it, um, but this will be quite interesting. We are watching by the Exploring series today, so make sure you give them a like and a follow and all that jazz if you haven't already. Always support the people that I watch because then they make more stuff for me to watch for you to then watch me watching them and it creates a great fantastic watch fest. So. <laughs> This is what work does to me, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to fucking scream, screech over to the next. Let's just go on the screen. We'll watch it now. And SCP-076. Kane and Abel. The SCP universe has more than a few SCPs related to religious concepts. Is this how they the actually Garden looked? Because, I mean, proposal. they're looking pretty fat. The two of them are well-known ones. Hi, hi named bros. Kane and Abel okay. are connected to one another. Isn't that Mark The two are based head. on a well-known story from the, the book of Genesis, of Cain, right? but each feature drastic anomalous properties. This is another video where we'll have to look beyond just the basic SCP entries to get really cool. a good idea of who these characters are and their histories. But I'll remind you beforehand that technically the only canon information here is from the actual mm. SCP entries. Okay, okay. SCP-073, known as Cain, is a polite male human of Arabic or Middle Eastern. I mean, oh no, he ain't looking that polite. I mean, he looks kind of fine. I will, I will say that he looks like a cherry on top of a slightly burned pie, and I'm here for it. Kind of reminds me of Bran from League, mixed with a sexy face on top. I'm not sure about the glowing blue eyes though. That shit would scare me in my sleep. And descent, who appears to be in his early thirties. Kane claims to have a photographic memory, which so far seems to be the case. I wish I had one of those. As he possesses <laughs> highly detailed knowledge of ancient events, school. speaks a large number of languages, and was able to memorize an 800 page dictionary after looking through it for a minute and a half. Wait, 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 wait. So this, this isn't actually, this is SCP based, right? This isn't actually what happened. Because I mean, 800 page dictionary, that would have come in very handy at school. Man, I would love to know more than one language. Unfortunately, I'm one of those boring people. I just, I just. The foundation has since decided to utilize his incredible memory to back up their databases, trusting Kane enough with the information. His arms, legs, spinal cord, and shoulder blades have been replaced with artificial ones of what? unknown make and composition. Oh, that sounds painful. Although Kane says he has no idea how, why, or when they were installed claiming they've been there as long as he can remember. He did a Wolverine. Which is seemingly a pretty long time. Additionally, there is a symbol engraved on his forehead, is that potentially the of, of Sumerian origin. But Cain becomes distressed when it is mentioned, and yeah, refuses to talk Yeah, that's what he got for killing his brother, right? The mark of Cain? Cain no? has two primary anomalous properties. Anything grown in soil, or derived from something grown in soil, dies in his presence. Oh, that's kind of sad. And he reflects any and all violence directed towards him back towards his attacker. Yeah, so it's the mark of Cain. I know property, that. Any ground within 20 meters. I actually know it from um, the... Fuck, what's the series? The Cassandra Clare series. Um, the books. The Shadow Hunters, yeah. So in the Shadow Hunters, one of the characters gets a Mark of Cain symbol put on their forehead, and it actually reflects any and all damage that the attacker, the person wearing the shape, back to the attacker. So that that's where I know that from. So it's nice so that some lore carries over to different series. Of Cain becomes barren and incapable of supporting life unless new anaerobic bacteria is later reintroduced to the soil. 
any and all plants within 20 meters of cane, rots, and dyes. So he's anti-bacterial. Along with anything derived from soil-grown life, such as wood or paper, he's which the OG antibacterial. For the second property, any violent action that would cause harm or damage to cane, whether directly or indirectly, will instead be inflicted upon the perpetrator. It's very handy. This includes typical violent actions, such as punching, shooting, or stabbing, as well as actions that normally wouldn't be considered violent, such as collecting a blood sample. Wait, so Cain you would collect no your own blood sample? From these actions, but does feel pain as if he was damaged by them. Kane was first discovered by the Foundation after he was found surrounded by the bodies of some gang members who attempted to kill him. I mean, that's not his fault, though. SCP-076, on the other hand, is quite a bit different. Ooh, it's Abel! Although 076 most commonly refers to the entity, known as Abel, it actually consists of two parts. Okay, One okay. being Abel, and one being a large stone cube. What? The cube is three meters on okay. each side, made of black metamorphic stone. Three meters? Yeah, that's a big patterns, cube. Corresponding to no known civilization. It's a hefty cube. I could fit in that there cube. There is a door located on one side, sealed with one large lock, surrounded by 20 smaller locks. So far, with no keys found, the Foundation has been unable to ever lock or unlock the door themselves. Would you want to, though? In the interior What's of the in cube there? is a stone coffin, held in place and sealed with chains of unknown composition. Ah, uh, okay, that's what's in there. The interior temperature is a constant 93 degrees Kelvin, or negative that's 292 pretty degrees cold. Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold, I was gonna say. And has that's... so far been unable to- I, I was like, I'm not, a, I'm not a big Kelvin scale person, but 92 is pretty low on the Kelvin scale. ...to be altered by any means. This is nice and chilly. Inside the coffin is a male of similar appearance to 073. How do they know this? They must have done some But covered in it, arcane then. and occult tattoos, mostly in the form of demonic faces. Ugh, okay. Analysis shows that while creepy. inside of the coffin, 076 is technically dead, but occasionally he will awaken, okay. break out, and generally go on a berserker rampage Wait, what? on finding the nearest human. Wait, he can break out of the cube? Killing 076 will stop him, upon which he will crumble to dust, the coffin and cube will slam shut, locking themselves, and 076 will begin to reform. A process that takes anywhere from 6 mm -hmm. hours to 25 years. Wait, 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 wait. Unfor wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. Let me get this, let me get, let me just put all these cards on the table. So Abel is dead inside of a coffin, inside of a locked cube that's pretty, pretty large, if I do say so myself. Nice small studio size in some places. And he just, every now and again, just pops open, awake, opens all the locked doors of the cube, kills everyone, is turned to dust upon death, and then is reforged into another Abel. What? I mean, I can understand why Kane might have killed him. You know, at, at first I was there thinking, you know, Cain murdered his bro, it was when I remember, it was all pretty sad stories, but like, I mean, if my bro's gonna go on killing sprees like that, maybe, maybe he should be put down, you know? Fortunately for the Foundation, 076 has proven extremely difficult to kill. Oh, fantastic. As he possesses superhuman strength, the icing speed, of this cake, and resistance to damage. Great. Unlike Cain, Abel is not invulnerable but he is exceptionally adept at using his anomalous properties to kill. Okay. He's been shown to rip through reinforced steel doors, okay. swat bullets out of the air with a piece Wait, of rebar, what? run far faster than a human ever could, and survive multiple high-caliber gunshots, or an hour with no oxygen. He also possesses the what? ability to materialize How the hell did they kill the guy? thin air, giving him a constant supply what of What the fuck? He has been killed, however, by sustained okay, gunfire, okay. extended asphyxiation, crushed beneath 13 tons of metal, and the detonation of a nuclear warhead. Wait, excuse me? They detonated a warhead on him? 076's containment procedures okay. involve keeping him 200 meters Surely underground that's kinda dangerous. and leading him into a killing corridor whenever he awakens, <laughs> a killing corridor. where he'll receive a 20,000 volt electric shock. So... 
Ouch. We have two male humans, both highly anomalous, and both connected to one another so one seemingly can never across die, thousands and one of years of history. Can never fully As I mentioned awaken. earlier, they are clearly based on two individuals from the Bible. And so for those unfamiliar with their story, as well as providing additional yes. context, Summary I'll summarize for the less here. educated. As described in the Bible, Adam was the first man created by God yes. and was placed in the Garden of Eden along with a woman made from one of his ribs, Eve. Adam and Eve bonkers. were eventually cast out of the garden after eating the forbidden fruit of the tree of the... See, see, this, this, this is what irks me about God, right? Right? I'm sorry, but if they're not allowed to eat it, don't put it in the fuck garden, okay? We're humans. We are hungry folk. Has he ever seen a woman when it gets to that time of the month? We are like rabid, hangry creatures from the depths of hell. If there is something in our vicinity that we want, we will fucking eat it, okay? You cannot blame a woman for eating whatever the fuck they want. And I mean, Adam's Adam, so he was going to eat it anyway. Like, come on. You don't want us to eat it? Don't put it in the fucking garden. I don't give a shit about none of this resisting temptation crap, okay? None of it, no. You, they were set up to fail and you cannot change my mind. <laughs> knowledge of good and evil. A flaming sword was placed at the entrance to prevent anyone from re-entering the garden. I want my chocolate, I'm gonna get it. The inspiration for the Gate Guardian SCP. And Adam and Eve were left to make their own way in the world. Eve soon gave birth to two sons. Cain and Abel! Cain and Abel. Yes! Cain was right. a farmer, and Abel was a shepherd. Each offered up the fruits of their labors to the Lord, Cain bringing produce, and Abel one of his flock. God regarded Abel and his offering, but he did not regard Cain, and so Cain grew angry and resentful. Cain That's proceeded to lead his brother into a field, and murdered him. Yo, that's a bit harsh, okay. Cain was forced to wander the land, and the earth would never again allow Cain oh, to farm. Oh, so that's, so that's why, okay, the story's a bit different to what I heard. The way I heard it was like, God told him to murder his brother on like a slab. Oh no, I'm just going by what I was told. So that explains why he can everything around him dies like plant life and stuff and he's antibacterial is because he was originally a farmer and he's being punished for his passion of farming i see it all makes sense now he was given a mark that would prevent anyone from killing the mark of cain as they would suffer a sevenfold vengeance in return. i mean that's a pretty i mean i would consider that a gift to be honest we can pretty that easily draw some connections then between the biblical story and the scps most of 073's properties come from the curse placed on Cain. Yep, makes sense. Cain was never allowed to work the soil again, which led him to found the first city. And 073's presence is inimical to all plant life. The mark of Cain prevented anyone from killing him, causing I mean, would-be attackers well, I still don't to think that's instead. a bad thing. Pretty much exactly like 073's reflective property. The biblical story doesn't account for his perfect memory or metal that might just augmentations. Come from time, however, though. 076 is a little trickier, as we don't know as much about the biblical Abel. That's but true. But Abel was a shepherd, and therefore shed more blood than his brother. Okay. In the Bible, so God tells he... Cain that his brother's blood cries out to him from the ground, which is possibly where 076's immortality comes from. Is he really immortal, it's though? It's here He's where more we like get a bit of a curveball, however. Dead. As one might expect the biblical murderer, Cain, to be the killing machine, and the innocent Abel to be the gentle one. But the SCPs are reversed. That's very true, actually. There is always the possibility that 073 very and 076 true. are not Cain meant to actually be, very be Cain and Abel. But if they are, it's possible that Cain went on to live a life of remorse, I mean, if you think about it logically, like, if you actually killed someone out of, like, if you killed a relative out of those emotions at the time, a lot of people would feel remorse at doing so. Especially when he's had so many thousands of years um, to do nothing but cause pain to people. I don't feel like Cain was inherently born a psychopath or born evil or born without emotions. So, in reality, a life of just causing nothing but death. Sorry, I got really itchy nose 
would probably make someone quite a passive person because that what what else can you do but I, I i i wouldn't mind living forever but i don't think i could kill someone or kill people all the time i'd probably try and seek out a life of solitude if i could which actually sounds very pleasant whereas abel came back filled with vengeance and hatred yeah so he's like he's like Questions the grudge such as where cain got his augmentations how abel is capable of reforming after death or if abel is capable of killing cain I'll go unanswered. Oh my god! Oh my god, I've got a genius idea. How do we kill SCP 682, right? You put him in a pit with Cain. And anything he does to Cain will potentially kill him. Because like, if he if he cuts off Cain's head, you know, his head's gonna get cut off like tenfold. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, sorry. It's been a long day. 073's work. entry mentions that Cain already knows all about 076 and says that it would be best for all parties involved if he did not meet with Abel. Although I'd like to keep the focus of this video on both Cain and Abel and the history between them, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Mobile Task Force Omega 7. <clears throat> Just as the Foundation has utilized Cain to back up information, they also had an idea to use Abel for high-risk tactical operations. Although they concluded that Abel's mind is either constructed much differently than our own, or he's completely insane, I mean, being murdered they discovered that, that Abel over does over hold wood. some respect for those he considers to be superior. Being murdered over and over again would probably cause a degree of insanity, especially when your brain is essentially turned to dust and reconstructed. I kind of I kind of feel for Abel a little, a little bit there. Particularly individuals adept at combat. The okay. Foundation decided that supported by an elite team handpicked by Abel, he would be sent in to handle field missions that would benefit that would from go the terribly. presence of a I can weaponized tell. SCP. Abel was equipped with an explosive collar in case he disobeyed orders and Omega-7 was filled out with 10 to 20 elite field agents. It's hard to respect people that give you While an explosive While waiting to find a mission ring. suitable for the team, Abel began running Omega-7 through live fire exercises against him, with him using nerf weapons. The Foundation also attempted to use him to translate documents written in Sumerian, but after seeing the symbol okay. found That's on 073, Abel became enraged and killed several researchers before his collar was detonated. What a surprise. Finally, Omega-7 was sent into active duty, and the results proved satisfactory, although they soon ran out of missions to give them, as Abel proved to be <laughs> simply too efficient of a killer. He was too good at killing, they ran out of things Abel to give him to kill. Abel became too unstable and managed to disable his collar, going on a rampage and forcing the Foundation to detonate a nuclear warhead. Uh, that, that explains Omega the Omega 7 okay. was quickly dispensed. I was wondering what events led to the explosion of a nuclear device. So I guess, I guess that kind of, a, I can understand it. I apologize. I take it back. Ended, and the entire idea swept under the rug. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no crap, there that was a bad idea. There are far too many connections and tales across the SCP universe related to Kane and Abel to cover here. But I'll mention a few. SCP-2932. Titania's prison, mentions a prisoner held there named Adam L. Awesome, who is a human <laughs> capable of awesome. bending reality. Cookie L. Awesome. It says something great and terrible lived within his mind, and there were others like him from the east, one with desolation in his steps, and another. Cain certainly has desolation in his steps. I don't know what. And both of them seemingly came from the east. Oh, I guess like different. Adam L. Right? Awesome's identity is unknown, although SCP-2783, an extra-dimensional graveyard, mentions him as being the first man. Although the it says he should man. be remembered for who he was. I mean, technically not he was, what he right? Has become, possibly alluding to the idea that he's still alive. Ooh. Cain and Abel are mentioned in a few 001 proposals, including Zero -Zero of course the Gate Guardian. What's SCP-001? 073 and 076 are both asked separately to approach the Gate Guardian, with Abel just refusing, the gate guardian. and Cain being highly reluctant until his symbol changed in oh. some way, and the experiment was immediately aborted, 
with no further testing of any kind allowed. I don't know what the Gate Guardian is. In the is. document at the end, oh. supposedly written a number of years- Pause, god damn you. I don't know what the Gate Guardian is, but I mean, if they're trying to send in Abel and Cain to kill it, it must be pretty important, right? Because I thought they said they ran out of things to give Abel. He was that good at killing. And Cain, I mean, technically Cain can't die. Cain is more useful than Abel because A, Cain is slightly more level-headed than Abel. He's a bit, he's a little bit more stable in terms of not going on massive rampage killing sprees. And secondly, he literally cannot die. Like Abel, Abel can die um, by turning to dust, right? So like there are ways he can be defeated. Cain physically cannot die, right? So he is like so important because no matter what you put him up against, he can't lose. I can't see a situation where he would lose if he can't die. But then I guess it depends whether he wants to actually fight or not. I guess you can't force him to fight. Years in the future, when the Gate Guardian leaves its location, something refers to Cain and Abel as their two sons, saying Adam. that they are coming. In the proposal 36, which okay. involves 36 humans that can negate anomalous properties. One Pretty of them is brought before Cain. The human tells him that he has been released from his binding, and they test it by slapping Cain. Did they slap themselves? Which doesn't get reflected. Ooh! Cain says that when they Ooh. speak with his brother, Yo. tell him that he is sorry. When the human visits Abel, Abel immediately breaks down in a fit of hysterical laughing and crying for 30 minutes. Wait, what? Before asking if he has been forgiven, presumably referring to Cain. It's potentially obvious why Cain would say sorry to Abel. Why would Abel say sorry to Cain, him. though? But it's unclear why Abel would ask forgiveness. Yeah, that's of what Cain. I'm thinking. Why would Abel need forgiveness? In he the was tale, fucking murdered. Maybe God will forgive you if we both beg. Cain finally agrees to meet with his brother. And when Abel emerges from his he goes on a rampage. He immediately drew a blade and swung it at Cain's <laughs> neck. Abel decapitated himself. Cain winced, and the coffin shut itself again for two days. Abel emerged again and attempted to kill his brother again and again for two months. Yeah. Occasionally, you think he'll get Cain the talked to the coffin, and finally, Abel's anger simmered enough for him to ask his brother why he came. But before Cain could answer, Abel attempted oh, to kill God him again. Oh, for God's sake. And this went on Abel, for another Abel, come month. on. Come on, man. Finally, however, a conversation ensued, with Abel asking why he killed him and left him, and Cain responding that he was young and jealous, but he's older now. Now they're and he communicating. he still loves his brother. The two brothers eventually hugged. And he killed him. cried. No. And both crumbled to dust. Wait, what? I know I'm likely skipping over many wait, wait, wait. They both and crumbled to dust? tales related to Cain and Abel. Oh, but Cain would have been so along useful. Along with SCP-343, SCP-336, and the Gate Guardian. But I think at this point you have a reasonable idea about 073 and 076. I'll once again remind you that nothing is really canon here. I'm kind of disappointed. And new stories and perspectives on the two will continue to pop up for years to come. The potential for Cain. Although there was a time when 076 was looked down upon for being an edgy supervillain with no place in the SCP universe, I can I can kind of see that. Various authors have worked to make both Cain and Abel okay. into two interesting aspects of the SCP. I mean, I thought it was very interesting to whoever created these two. I just I'm a little sad that. They turn to dust. I, I liked the idea of an immortal man, to be honest. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? What have you done? Listen! Your blood, your, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. So I guess to break the curse, they had to forgive each other. I suppose. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. I quite liked, I liked the idea of, um the two of them together. I think Abel's story was quite sad because imagine just being murdered over and over again forever, basically. And it's understandable why he was a little batshit crazy. But um, I thought Kane's was quite interesting, living a life of just nothing but remorse and regret. 
Sounds pretty boring, but I mean, he doesn't have internet at the same time, so I mean, we all kind of living in that mode when we're on Twitter and Reddit and all that lot. But no, I really liked that one, actually. That was a really good one. I actually quite liked that recommendation, so thank you to you guys for recommending these two. We'll probably have a check of some of the other um, SCP Explored episodes. I'm quite liking them. I like having the images and kind of those to react to as well. So that was really fun. And if you're liking it, make sure you leave a little like and a subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next episode. Again, if I look like death, it's because I've come from working a nine hour shift and I'm fucking tired. Sorry for the swearing. I'm not already that sorry. But I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Until next time. <laughs>